Hi everyone, Diamond Peter here, just popping in with a quick video this afternoon. It is Wednesday the 4th of October at quarter past two in the afternoon. Just going to show you a couple of completions, um, a couple of diamond paintings that I did a while ago now that I don't think I've showed on my channel before. I found them at Mum's recently and brought them home with me. Uh, yeah, so the first thing I'm going to show you is this sign. Now you know I unboxed all of these. I unboxed every month. Um, they, they hang with the chain so it goes in there in the hole there and in the hole there and you hang them up. So I've done October's as well and I'm going to hang that up as soon as it's um, dried. I've sealed it so it's just drying now. But yeah, so that's my October one. I'm going to do November very soon. But I loved... Oh, don't want to drop it I've just sealed it I love <laughs> I love doing these they're so much fun and I think Liz from Scotty Dog Crafts and I think Louise from Crazy Borgies is doing them as well I love them I think they're great so that will be going up on my wall the next thing I completed are some Christmas cards now I started these um, last year and I just didn't get around to finishing them so um, I'm not going to show you how they all sit well, I will. I'll show you how they all sit, but very quickly, because otherwise I'm going to run out of space on my iPad again. So this is what we diamond paint. We diamond paint this piece here, and you push it out, and you put it up, and it's supposed to sit like that. But it's not going to stay like that, so I'm going to have to put some, probably some Velcro just in here, because you're going to have to write on there, and you're not going to be able to see it if you put double-sided tape. So I'm going to put Velcro on them and um, yeah, give them for Christmas cards. So that's the Santa, one of the Santas. That's the other Santa. They're cute. I think they're nice. I love this one, the Christmas tree. It's very pretty. So again, you can write there. That one had some very special diamonds on it, that one. Snowman with a Christmas tree. I love this one too. Hot air balloon. <laughs> you know me with hot air balloons. Very cute. The bells. That was nice too. They got some nice shapes on them. Uh, a polar bear. Snowman on a polar bear. It was a bit odd because there's stars around the top there and you can't see them. But that's where they said to put the stars. So that was weird. But anyway. And the stocking. That was one of the ones I did last year on my channel already. So, so they're the completed Christmas cards, which I'm happy about. Now, what I'm working on now is some Christmas keychains. Yes, I know it's not Christmas yet, guys, but crafters need to think ahead. I need to do these and seal them for my tree, and I need to have the cards ready to give to people. So I've had people asking me why we're doing Christmas stuff already, because crafters do that. We plan ahead, don't we, guys? So... Okay, these are keychains. It's a snowman. He is double-sided. I haven't done this one yet. That's a reindeer. The Santa. Sorry, I've got itchy nose, guys. Hay fever's terrible at the moment. And a penguin. It is so windy here. It is dreadful. Willow does not like the wind. She has been packing it all morning. It's just... I've had no sleep for two nights because the wind has kept her awake and I've had to sleep in the lounge room with her because she's restless. She doesn't like noises. She's because she's a rescue dog. She's um yeah, she's struggling a bit with the wind and it's it's not good. And we can't stop everything from banging, unfortunately, outside. So it's been very hard. But anyway. Um now a couple of projects that I bought back from mums that I did ages and ages ago that I wanted to show you. This light, and I've seen quite a few people do these on their channels years ago when they first came out. I did the Eiffel Tower one. So there's some beautiful diamonds in that one. I love how they've done the flowers. Um, some of these gorgeous, beautiful diamonds here, they were absolutely lovely. And then when we turn it on, there you go. So I've got that on my desk. I think it's cute. It's not very bright, but it's nice to have it on at night with my other Christmas lights on and um, yeah, it just looks really pretty. Um, I think it needs new batteries because it's starting to flash a little bit, but yeah, I think it's really nice, I like it. So that's that one. I did that ages and ages ago. Mum did a, I think mum did a butterfly one as well. And then the other one was this, which is a, it's a light too. I'm just gonna pick you up 
No, I'm going to take you out of the stand. This is a light as well, but it's not working at the moment. The back's fallen off it. And I need to get my brother to fix it because um, some of the stones have fallen off too. I realise that. I need to replace them. But the, the lantern and the windows in the church will light up. But yeah, the back has come off completely off the back of it. And um, yeah, so he needs to put this back on for me. So he's going to fix that for me. So I need to take that back over this weekend. But yeah, that was, I did that one. I bought that at a budget friendly company ages ago and I did that one and I love it. Absolutely love it. And I've got another one here that my brother gave me for Christmas. I haven't done it yet, but that's what this one's going to look like. And again, it will light up. So they're LED, LED DIY diamond painting. So there's a picture of an Eiffel Tower on the front of it, but it's not that. It's this picture up here. And it's a 30, 30 by 40 centimetres, which is the same as size as this one. It's just that this one is, I'll show you, it's a portrait. Sorry, guys, I'm moving you around a little bit. Yeah, so it's um, it's actually it's a portrait. The other one's landscape, but that's it there. Yeah, so I'll get around to doing that one one day. But um, I'm just going to pop you back. Sorry, <laughs> I'll put my finger over the camera. Pop you back in there for a tick. Sorry, I don't know what happened there. I hope that doesn't affect my filming. But yeah, so I um, I just wanted to show you those, those couple of things. They're um, things that I bought back from mums that I did ages and ages ago. And um, I'd forgotten about them. So, But I want to get them fixed because I want to put this one up on the mantelpiece for Christmas. And I'll be able to repair a few of the diamonds that are missing on here. Uh, um... I think at mum's it sort of got bumped around a little bit so there's a diamond off down here and there's a few that need fixing over here but I think that's about it it's not too bad a few of them just need sliding at the sides but um yeah I really enjoyed doing this one it was really it was a lot of fun and um they're lovely when they're they're lit up as well so anyway guys I'm going to go now I just thought I'd pop in and do this video because I'm going to mum's tomorrow and I probably won't get a chance to film now until after work one afternoon next week because I go back to work on Monday but thank you so much for watching um I hope you all have a lovely weekend those that aren't feeling well I hope you're feeling better soon so I know uh sweet tea wasn't feeling well I hope you're feeling better soon Teresa from Teresa's journey hi Teresa I know Teresa wasn't feeling well last week either there's a few people that haven't been well so please know that we're praying for you and thinking of you please stay safe Look after yourselves and I will talk to you again very soon. Um, if you wouldn't mind subscribing if you haven't already, give my video a thumbs up and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.